Hey guys, good morning, day 32 of my European backpacking adventure trip. So today the plan is to do the walking tour. Like I said before, I'm kind of nervous about it because I think like canceled it. I think it's because I didn't show up the other one, but that wasn't, not because I didn't try. So I'm leaving pretty early, 9.40 to get there for 11. Should take me about half an hour on the water bus to get over there. So then that's plenty of time. And of course, it's another beautiful day here in Venicia. Cause that's actually how you say it, not in English. <laughs> when I type in like Venice for my location, it's like, where is that? California? And I'm like, no, it's Italy. But when you type in Venicia, it comes up. So actually, Venice doesn't exist except in California. Just saying. Coming up onto the Grand Canal. blocked by some clouds. It definitely feels a lot colder. It looks a lot colder than normally. Hopefully this big cloud will pass soon and it will be nice and sunny again. That would be nice. Should have looked at the weather. <laughs> so that boat ride took almost 45 minutes. <laughs> So it's like 10.30 now. Still gives me a little bit of time though to get some food just from like a takeaway place. Jesus Christ, it is so fucking crowded. It's not even funny. Ah, so many people. But there's this like fruit shop that I've seen a few times passing by. It looks good. They do kind of like yogurt parfaits you can get. So I feel like that'd be a good breakfast and a change from having like bread and Nutella so many days. Okay, that's what I got for breakfast. It's like yogurt and lots of fruit. This is a beautiful church. It's all made out of marble, it looks like. A lot of marble. So in Venice, because it's a world UNESCO heritage site, the buildings cannot be destroyed or remade, or new buildings can be made, so things don't look like what you think. Like this building right here is an elementary school. Because it's an old building, they have to use it something else. So a lot of them in Venice, you won't realize what buildings are because they're so old and they've had to repurpose them for other things. They're pretty interesting. So this is the Borgo Loco Bridge that has encoded messages in the parapets while they were under occupation by the Austrian government in the 1960s. See, it's V, V, and then the small E, which means like Viva something. So for a little break, I got like a fried artichoke thing, it's like a cup of something. They're like kind of little bites. And then the spritz drink, which is really common. It's like an orange, like wine spritz drink. It's really, really good. So I can't record, because yeah, this is the situation. I just wanted to let you guys know when I'm having, and it's quite good. Now, the Arsenal of Venice, has been for centuries the largest industrial complex in Europe prior to the Industrial Revolution, spanning an area of 15% of Venice. It was built at the end of the 12th century, and at first the Republic of Venice used it only as a state dockyard for private ships, to build and maintain private ships. In 1320, Venetians built the new Arsenal, the Arsenal in Nuovo, which was simply a larger and more efficient version of the old Arsenal. But from that moment on, they began to build also the larger merchant ships. So with high walls hiding the Arsenal from public view and guards protecting its perimeter, inside the Arsenal of Venice, different areas each produced a different prefabricated ship part, or rather maritime implements such as munitions, rigging, and ropes. So this is where they used to build ships, or where maybe they still do. They built it in a day, 
And it's much better than this too, it goes beyond that wall over there. It's so pretty, I can't get over it. Literally everywhere you look in Venice, it's just this. It's so nice. I just got to Burano, which is an island, about um, 45 an hour by, what is the name of this water, the water bus called? The, the Vaporetto? The water bus. We took the water bus to get here. It must be a beautiful place with lots of colored buildings. Oh, and by the way, this is my friend Nicole. I met her on the walking tour. Hi! So we were both wanted to go to Burano. We both wanted to go on the tour. So we're just spending the day together. And we just got gelato. Because, again, if you're in Venice and not eating lots of gelato, what are you doing with life? So we're going to go walk around and see all the cute little buildings and have some nice gelato. Because that's what you do in Italy. Just walk around and enjoy gelato with pretty sights. <laughs> How vibrantly colored these buildings are! Beautiful! Reds and purples and pinks and blues and oranges. I, of course, love the purple. It's my favorite color, but it's so pretty. Here is the street I saw so many pictures of. The little canal running right through. Beautiful. You guys, like, Burano is so beautiful. Like, it's crazy all the colors, like, Look at this pink. It's amazing. It's so pretty. If you guys come to Venice, please take the time to come to Burano. You will not regret it. It will take a few hours out of your day. Don't need a whole day for it. Just come later in the afternoon like we did. And you will be so happy to do it. Guys, it's a leaning church tower. It's not the leaning tower of Pisa. But if you can tell, it's leaning quite a bit. <laughs> Murals painted on this building. These murals are quite beautiful. We actually perfect timing getting back to the station, the bus station, the sounds so weird, but it is, to catch a ferry that actually goes not to where we got off from, but to San Marco, which is where we need to go. Because the 12 just takes us uh, back to the northern part of Venice, and this actually was the heart. And it's much bigger when we're outside, so we get a sea breeze and get a nice view. Perfect timing, we were here for like a, a little over an hour, just enough time to walk around and enjoy the beautiful city of Verano. But now, back to Venice. Sunset now, though. people my walking tour because it's really expensive to take a gondola tour by yourself like a hundred euro so four of us split it's a 25 a person so this is a couple right here Ashi and Kira and this is my friend Nicole we went to Barango today is it Barango? Barano. Barano that's the name so we're all taking a lovely gondola ride and having fun
drinking some Prosecco. And it's really beautiful here. It's honestly one of the prettiest cities I've been to. <laughs> Coming out onto the Grand Canal and over there is San Giorgio. The sunset is the perfect time to come to you. <laughs> Gondola tour! <laughs> Look at this view! So close, it's like right there. Oh, it's lovely. So it looks like we are coming to the end of our gondola ride, which was fantastic. Got to see a lot of really cool tiny canals. Got to go on the Grand Canal too, which was actually worth it. Or we were part on the Grand Canal, part on the actual sea. And yes, coming to the end. Couldn't come to Venice and not do a gondola tour. And I'm so happy I found people to split the cost with because <laughs> it's very expensive. And, but I would have done it on my own if I had to. If I had to. <laughs> but very happy I didn't have to. <laughs> so this is spaghetti with cuttlefish ink. I've heard it's really good, so I'm excited to try it and it looks quite delicious. And Cole just got regular, ta what's it called? Tagalini? Tagalatini. Tagalatini. Yes, me and Nicole have just been spending most of, most of the day together. We went, we went on the walking tour, we went to, what's the name of, I keep, Burano. We wanted to go to the ride, we got dinner, which is great, because I'm not staying in a hostel, so I have So Nicole here has been a wonderful companion today. Now we're going to have dinner, we had an appetizer, which was really good, and now we're going to try our pastas. Alright, so this is the black cuttlefish ink spaghetti. Let's try it. Oh, that was really sloppy. Wind it up better. <laughs> Okay. Oh, looks really good. It's definitely like seafood. I like seafood, so it's all good. All right, so I just got back on the water bus to my stop. Nicole is getting off like two stops after me, so we're just talking the whole time. It was like so great. She was so cool. I forgot how we started talking on the tour. Oh yeah, she like overheard. I was like by myself. She was like, oh, did your did your friend stick it? I was like, oh no, I'm by myself. And I'm like, I saw she was walking around. I'm like, are you as well? She's like, yeah. And so then we just started talking on the tour. And I was like, you know, hey, I was actually been looking for someone to take a gondola ride with. And then the couple I'd been talking to earlier, they said they weren't going to on their honeymoon. They weren't gonna, because it was too expensive. But I talked to her and I was like, you know, let me ask the couple if they want to come and join us. And they did, because then at that point, it was like 25 euro ahead. Which is not bad. And then I was like, what's your, what's your plan for the rest of the day? I'm like, because I'm like, can we meet back up at 7.30 and take a gun? She's like, oh, I was going to go to Burano. I'm like, me too. So we went to Burano. We literally spent a whole day together. I will say that this, in Venice, everything takes way long. Did I already say this? I don't remember. But if I didn't, Venice takes super long to get anywhere. Anywhere. I got a mosquito bite on my fucking first. Can you see that bump right there? I had like three mosquito bites tonight. I'm a mosquito magnet and I hate it. Yes, you. Venice, give yourself plenty of time to get anywhere. Anywhere. You will, you will need it. Yeah, I'm gonna head back to my hostel. I need to pack up my shit. I have to get up early as crap tomorrow. Well, I'm gonna call it a night. Last night in Venice, amazing day. Love today, it was great. Surrounded by great people, which was nice because I'm in Airbnb, so no guarantee I'm gonna meet people. This is actually one of the big reasons I wanted to do a walking tour, because I wanted to find someone to do a gondola ride with, and ended up finding a friend to spend the whole day with who was also by herself. I also met a lovely couple too. But yeah, so great day in Venice. I wish I could be here another day, but at the same time I don't because it's expensive. But I will definitely want to come back here someday in the future. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow. Gonna be a fun day, lots of trains, lots of making stops. Gonna be an interesting day, first time doing that with a bag on. <laughs> so to see much, to see if I can check in train stations. Well, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Goodbye.